And today I am sitting here with... Drew Nolasco from Wizards of the Coast. It's great to meet you. It's great to meet you. Thanks for taking the time to introduce me to all your fans. All right, so we're talking here about the Transformers trading card game. Right. So, could you do me a favor? Yes. And tell this noob, how can I win this game? So, you have to beat up all the Transformers on your opponent's team. That's it. This is Transformers battling it out in a really fast tactical battle. So, one of the things that we did is uh, the Transformers characters are the core of this game, so we just decided to make them gigantic. These are the Transformers character cards. They all, you know, Transformers, the hallmark of what makes a Transformers character a Transformers character is they convert from mode to mode. So all of our cards, all of our character cards convert from robot mode to vehicle mode. And that is one of the key elements of the game, is being in the right mode at the right time so you can fight most effectively. Want to open up a booster pack? Of course I do! All right, so this is Rise of the Combiners. This is the, uh, the newest of our booster releases. So Combiners are teams of Transformers characters who can unite to form really, really big Transformers characters that can really lay the beat down. So let's open this up. We got Warpath. Warpath's from a character from Generation 1. He was one of the original tanks. So you also get, in addition to a character card, a bunch of battle cards, which are actions, equipment, armor, weapons, things that enhance your character's ability to fight. So you get seven of those. So I'm not going to go through them, but we get a whole bunch of these as well. So about half of the packs in Rise of the Combiners have a regularly gigantic character card, and then half of them have a member of a combiner team, and I want to show those to you. All right. So, we have this thing called triple-sided card technology. So this card, it's a little bit smaller than our standard character size cards. It's a robot on one side, alt mode on the other, but then it unfolds to reveal, in this case, the right arm of one of the big Transformers characters. And you can unite them through gameplay to make these gigantic Transformers characters. This is Predaking. Uh, Predaking is the character that's formed by the Predacons, who were one of the original um, G1 uh, combiner teams. We have a pretty tight association with the Transformers team back at Hasbro, and so this character was released last year as a gigantic Titan-sized figure. So we try and work with them to keep up with what's going on in Transformers toys and what's going on in the TCG and keep those running pretty parallel to one another. So are there going, how many of these like really big ones are there? So you can collect six of them in the Rise of the Combiners set. There's five of them who are about this big and then we go really deep into the Transformers lore. So one of the things that is, there's a sixth character that I'm going to tell you about. One of the things that's really advantageous of being a trading card game is we can print lots and lots of characters. So we really go deep and find characters who are unusual or may have only appeared in one or two toys or incarnations and we can re represent them in the game. So we picked a character called Dreadwing who is two planes who smash together to form one bigger plane. So there's six total, five about this size, one a little bit smaller. Um, and they are all found in Rise of the Combiners. We also have this, this big guy. So this is releasing today here for the first time. This is the Devastator deck. Devastator was the original combiner. He was the first combiner toy released in G1 almost, let's see, 1985? 20 plus years ago. This is the entire combiner team in one set plus a deck to play with them. So that is releasing here at PAX East today. That's correct. We're, uh, everywhere Transformers are sold, but we have a special release here today. And are there price points for this already? Oh, absolutely. This is $29, $29.99 for the full mm -hmm. six team member combiners and a deck of 40 cards. Each of these booster packs is $3.99. Um, this is a full box. Some, some people just go all whole hog and get the full box at a time. Before we wrap this up, I have to ask you. Shoot. Who's your favorite? Oh, Grapple. So, that's this character. So when I was a kid, I was, Transformers had come out and I really, really loved it. 
And I did chores and like earned, you know, just enough money to get like the little transformers. And that was cool. And then at some point I realized that I could not give into instant gratification, like get some money, buy a little transformer. I could actually save my money and get a larger toy. And this was this guy was the first toy that I saved up to get. Uh, so he has been my favorite my entire time. I still have the original figure from like, I don't know, 25 years ago. All right, thank you so much. Awesome, thank you so much. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.